everybody welcome back to the channel today I'm going to be making a summer wreath for the warehouse door now the wreath I had before Dollar Tree's finest materials fell apart on me after a couple of months but this one here I will be using weatherproof mesh this yellow soft uh, poly mesh and the orange and I'm also going to be using curly curly poly burlap in pink so the main colors in my little centerpiece I'm sure y'all have seen this centerpiece is uh, orange pink yellow with a splash of, um, of green in it so this will be my centerpiece and I'll be making it on a five gallon paint stick so the door to the warehouse is just wide open. There's no cover, there's no windshield, nothing. So when the storm comes through or the sun is high, it's beaming directly on the door. So I'm hoping this will last. I'll give y'all an update in a few weeks to see how it's holding up. But orange, pink, and yellow are the main colors. And the ribbon I'm going to use I only have one little piece of this polka dot. I don't know if I'm going to use that yet. But I'm going to be using uh, the green and then the pink with a little bit of blue, a solid yellow, and then an orange. So the method I'm going to use for this is going to be, I'm thinking cruffle and curl. Yeah, cruff, cruffle and curl is what I'm going to use. And I've never made a wreath completely out of like the poly burlap and uh, poly mesh. So we're going to see how this goes. But my main thing is I need it sturdy to last out on my door at least until August. So let me go ahead and prep my stick and I will be right back. Okay, y'all. Here it is. I've prepped my stick. So, what I'm going to be doing now is cutting my mesh. Now, these pieces here, let me move my water burger cup. This is ice water. I've been trying to do keto, get some of this weight up off me. So, I'm doing low carb to no carb and water, lemon water. No more diet sodas for me. Oh, I'm going to miss them, but in the end, they start giving me crazy headaches, so I'm not going to miss them too much. This is about 15 inches, so for my, um, for my cruffles, I'm going to do 15 inches, and my curls, I'm going to do uh, 10 inches. So this yellow here is already at 15. So this will be one of my um, one of my cruffles, and I'm also going to cut my pink 15 inches. I'm basically y'all know how I like to mix it up. So I have three, five, seven, nine plus another three I have 12 and this is the door hanger the top on the back here that's the door hanger so I have 12 so what I'm going to do is I will be cutting this pink 15 inches and then I'm going to do um, three pink three orange and three yellow. I'm cutting each one 15 inches to make my cruffles. So let me go ahead and do that and when I'm finished, I'll be right back. I had cut three of each one thinking that was 12. Yeah, no, I had to cut three more pieces, one of each color. So 
what I'm going to do now is attach them to my paint stick with these Chanel stems. So I am going to start at the bottom and I'm going to work my way up. So at the bottom, I want an orange cruffle. So what I'm going to do is roll this about three. Let me get my lips. And then clip it around this side. And then just scrunch. So, here you go. And I'm going to add this one right here so I'm going to do this all the way up so let me zoom in and show y'all and then the next one I'm going to do a pink so roll it over I'm just going to do it twice you know what for Keep it consistent. Roll it over three. Clamp it. One, two, three. three. And then just scrunch. Add it to the right over here. And now for the yellow. yellows and pinks and orange all mixed in so next thing I'm going to do oh, let's get some of this fray off the yellow is fraying the most but the pink and orange really isn't fraying much at all now it could be because the yellow uh, is a used piece I have put it on a wreath before and then took it off I've decided not to use it and it's just been the last little scraps over there but it's really full and I really like the colors and the fray is not much at all and a little bit more on the yellow but the orange and the um and the pink really isn't fraying that much just a little bit so what I'm going to do now is make my curls so I'm gonna mix it up again and I'm going to make some um, some curls out of these these three so my curls will be 10 inches and I'm going to make six bundles for curls so I'm going to cut 12 of these, three of each color, and I'm going to place it on six of the Chanel stems. I don't want it on each one. I don't want it too full, but I want it, you know, just spread throughout. So let me go ahead and cut 12 of these 
which is um, four of each color and I will be right back Okay, I just cut up and bundled up my mesh. So these two will go together. So I'm going to go ahead and make my curls. And just curl it up all the way. And you know what? I'm going to fold it over right here. I don't want any fray. So let me do a close-up and show y'all what I just did. So, what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and fold this side down and clamp it. And I'm just going to roll this side right here. Just like that. So, very little fray. And I'm going to put these two together and add it over here to the yellow. So that's one cut right there. And it blends in really nice right here so I'm gonna go ahead and do another one this one here I'm going to put up here on the on the pink one so it will be an orange and yellow one and I'm just spreading these throughout so, you go ahead and fold this side over here and clamp it down. And then I'll just curl this side over here. Take it off. Just like that. And clamp it. Clamp this side right here and, and just roll it. Just roll it on up. And then I just add, add it in here. And then the next one, I'm going to move up and I'm going to get one right here. Let me go ahead and speed through this and I'll come back when I'm through. Okay, and here it is right here. And all the colors they blend in nicely and just some is curly and then some is the cruffled so next thing I'm going to do 
is I am going to trim up some of this yellow fray and then I'm going to make my ribbon bundles. So here it is. It's easier to see sideways when it's a paintbrush. Well, paint stick base. <laughs> but next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and cut up my ribbon. So okay, one of the ribbons I changed out. So I will be using these four ribbon right here so yellow green orange and then a pinkish with a uh, dash of blue in it so let me go ahead i'm going to cut the ribbon nine inches and i'm going to make bundles up two i'm gonna make eight of them so each one of the ribbon will be cut nine inches but the first thing I'm going to do is cut off two pieces of each one at 20 inches for my bow and now I'm going to cut my bundle ribbon so I'm going to cut four of each one. it like that and then I'm going to add it right here to this one. now let me grab another and show y'all I'm dovetailing as I go I usually dovetail ahead of time but not this time. So, folding this over in half like that, and then fold it again like that, and then I just at an angle and dovetail. This is a really thick, like satiny type. I like this ribbon and I do the same for this one here fold it in half mm -hmm. fold it in half long ways and then at an angle cut dovetail and I'll just layer it at an angle and then just scrunch in the middle just like this so this one will go right over here so here's one of this one and then that one So let me go ahead. Ouch! Ah! Oh, y'all! Ah! This metal just. Mm. Clean this up. Oh! Oh my goodness, y'all! <laughs> that hurts so bad. When I cut this ribbon here, some of the uh, wire was out. So when I cut it, you know, it fell on my mat. And when I went to brush it off, it caught in my hand because this metal 
it's kind of thick in here. I can cut it with my scissors, but compared to, you know, ho uh, Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree's wire, this is a thicker one. And it got me good. Crap. <laughs> oh, that hurt. It quit bleeding. I didn't want to add no blood to my root, so. <laughs> Let me go ahead and I'm going to dovetail and I'm going to add these. Uh, bundles to my wreath and I'm gonna come back and give y'all a, a view of what it's looking like ouch I don't know why my camera cut off on me I hope it was recording okay y'all the next thing I have to do is to prep my sign so I'm going to cut off the tag on the back here and I'm going to add Chanel stems at the top and then at the bottom here, I'm going to secure it with some of the Gorilla Hot Glue. And I'm also going to put down some of, some ribbon over it to secure it. down here Okay, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to attach it to my, my wreath. So I am going to put it right about here. So let me go ahead and attach my sign. just have to add my bow and it will be complete so for my bow I am thinking about adding it let's see here maybe at the bottom here I'm thinking at the bottom right here so let me go ahead and make my bow now the way I do my bow it's simple. I lay it out on my measuring uh, my measuring mat. I go over to 13 inches, then go up to 12 inch, and I squish it together to make me a six inch bow. So let me zoom in so y'all can see what I'm doing. Here it 
Okay. And then I'll just add my Chanel stem in there to attach it. And then add my zip tie. dovetail here <laughs> y'all won't believe what I did okay this will be going this way and my sign is upside down <laughs> So I have to reattach my sign. I'm so glad I did not cut anything. So let me go ahead and fix this. <laughs> Y'all always pay attention to the direction of your sign when you're putting it on something where it has to be going the right direction. Usually the round reads it doesn't matter whichever way you do your sign. You can easily, you know, have your sign straight and you know your top and bottom. But if you're attaching something like a door hanger on the back and then adding your sign, make sure it's going the right direction. So I wanted my bow down here on the left side right here. So what I'm going to do Go ahead and attach it. Tuck that right there. And now I just fluff it out. And here it is. Let me go ahead and put it on the wall so y'all can get a better look. Okay, everybody, and here's the finished product. Let me get a close-up for you. Now, I had to flip my sign the correct way because I attached it the wrong way. So make sure if y'all are making a wreath, the sign is going the correct way so let me show y'all this side over here and there's my bow at the bottom so y'all if y'all have any comments or questions drop below please subscribe turn on that notification bell I know shameless plug and I'll talk to y'all later bye